What if your PC could understand your requirements? Expressing safety requirements in a machine-readable language can not only improve their quality by removing ambiguities commonly found in natural language, but it also opens up amazing possibilities for a highly automated verification process throughout the entire V-cycle. And, semi-formal and formal methods are also recommended by the ISO 262 standard. But which language should you choose? Semi-formal languages like Simulink or Stateflow are often used for implementation, so we would want to avoid using the same language to express our requirements. Formal languages like Linear Temporal Logic are great, but they are way too complex to be used in production projects. With BTC Embedded Specifier, we provide an intuitive and easy-to-use graphical language that allows you to formalize safety requirements. We could actually call this model-based requirements engineering. One possible starting point could be to import existing requirements in natural language. We are able to then detect the text patterns that define events or properties into so-called macros. In a second step, we bring these macros into context by mapping them to a structure like this trigger action template. A large library of Boolean and mathematical operators even allows the modeling of complex conditions. You can easily add additional information like timing details or events where needed. As an intermediate result, we get a semi-formal specification which will become fully machine-readable once you connect the macros to the interfaces of your software or system architecture. For this example, let's import a Simulink model and find the ports our requirement is referencing. The macros will ensure full traceability between the natural language requirement and the interface objects. We are now ready to generate an HTML report with the details of our formalized requirements or to use them for many highly automated verification tasks on the unit, integration, or system level. Please have a look at our video on formal verification to find out more. And don't hesitate to contact us if you have any further questions.